Hey mom and dad, sorry we haven't been sending out very many videos lately. Um, just wanted to say hi and this is me with my cold and congestion feeling better. And this is, let's see, today's Wednesday, May se oh, not May, March 2nd. And I'm going to show you what uh, uh, Dad Sanders and I worked on yesterday and what we're going to try to finish tomorrow working in our backyard. Uh, weather's really been changing here. It's supposed to be 68 degrees tomorrow, and then, uh, but last night it was around 35, so it's just crazy. This was the back uh, of, our, of our house with the storage unit, and you remember this, there was a fence that, that crossed in front of the storage unit and came out this way, where you see that dirt um, disturbed, and then over here by the door, it went in front of the door and there was a gate there. Well, we took all of that out, um, and this was the area where uh, the river came through when we had that flood um, last year right as we bought the house and so the river that was made by the rains came through here and that's where I had cut out all the fence and our neighbors with the dogs back there had put in that uh, board which they're going to take out tomorrow and so I had cut out all this fence and it's been this way for a year so that's the big pole that dad cut off that's the bas that was the basketball goal that busted my arm uh, right here I don't know if you can see it but right on my arm, I've got a huge bruise. And then those were a couple um, railroad ties that were stuck in the ground over here. This is all the rotten fence uh, that we pulled off. And then right here on this disturbed ground, you can kind of see uh, where the fence was in relationship to the steps. All along here was fence. And then right along here was fence as well. And it went to this corner. And these little holes where rocks are is where we... Uh, pulled out the, the fence poles. So there was another one. That's where we used a sledgehammer to break up the uh, concrete. Um, there's another pole hole. And then we came along here and took all of this fence off. Um, and then Dad measured this, and this is where the gate is going to be here at the end of the concrete slab. And then so we had poured concrete yesterday and that was another pole where we had poured concrete and here as well right on the edge of the shed. And then back over here is where we took out all the poles and had to measure. And, and um, we also had a huge tree limb that was sticking out over my friend's uh, house. And so right there, uh, where you can see obviously somebody was working with a chainsaw, uh, this branch went out just like this over my neighbor Wade and, and uh, Rebecca's house. And so he came and, and cut that off. And that's what all those branches are over there and the rest of the wood. Um, is in the garage for our fireplace. And then this is where the end of the fence is gonna be. See, we had a fence right there, but we took that out uh, because it was basically unnecessary and then took out the fence here. And then this is where the fence is gonna enclose the backyard. So we poured this concrete yesterday. And then there's a hole there that the board is covering where we're gonna have the fence here. And then this is the corner. And you can see the pink line goes down uh, that's where the rest of the fence is going to be. So it's going to be a fully enclosed uh, backyard. And then this is, you know, where I was washing out the concrete and the concrete poles that we had to dig out from there. So this is going to be open so we can get to our backyard out of that door. There wasn't a gate here, and so there was only one way to get into the backyard, and so it wasn't really a good plan. And Dad was asking how we wanted to design all this, and I said, well, I want it to be user-friendly, and for anybody who might come and want to buy our house, you know, what would they think would work? So they'll be able to get into the backyard from that side of the house. That'll be closed off over there by a fence, and then this is going to be closed off here. So the storage shed will be part of the fence. And so from there around there, that will be fully covered fence, fully fenced in back area for pets or for kids to play or whatever. So anyway, it just seemed like a good idea. And then this is a big pile of stuff that I've got to take off to the dump. But I just thought that you would want to see what we were working on. And tomorrow, uh, Dad is coming over in the morning. At, and Jen and I are on our way to Home Depot tonight to get fence. And we're going to get the fence and get that all fixed up by tomorrow so that can be set so we can have that project finally finished one year later. So anyway, I just thought you would want to see that. We love you. Bye.